Good morning and welcome to Sun Up. I'm Dave Deacon, and this morning on the show, we're going to start out here at the North Range, and and Dave, we're doing so because we're going to dispel some some uh, some old wives' tales of cattle production. We might do that for sure. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we've got an interesting project going out here. A few. Uh, I don't remember now how long it's been, but a few years ago we talked about a super cow. Yeah, I remember. That's kind of what we're trying to figure out here. How, how are you doing that with the research that you're conducting? So we, you know, in the previous episode, mm -hmm. we, uh, dis we sort of defined that cow as efficient, basically from her record, her production record. The piece we didn't have on that super cow was how much does she eat? Mm -hmm. Now, if we assume that the cows on this project are, are adequate or really good from a reproductive standpoint, we're trying to figure out you know, if there's any opportunity to increase or improve beef cattle production uh, with an efficient cow that's efficient in terms of forage use efficiency. And, you know, thanks to uh, a uh, forward-thinking uh, alumni, mm -hmm. you know, they, they provided some funding to help us install this more technical equipment uh, that measures individual feed intake. Right. And in this study, we're providing them all the feed they want. So we're trying to see Given a pasture with lots of grass, you know, it's, a, it's an indicator of how much feed those cows will consume on a daily basis. So, so we pulled out two cows that we thought would be interesting just as an example right. of what we're trying to accomplish and the opportunity that we may have going forward. Mm -hmm. uh, so these two cows are uh, very, well, I'd say similar in their production record. Mm -hmm. uh, one cow, uh, let's see, the cow on the left right. uh, is she's a little bit smaller mm -hmm. okay she weighs about 80 pounds less on average than the cow on the right this cow on the right is about a 1170 pound cow she weighs about uh, 1080 okay. or sorry 1180 so she's she's about oh depending on the day 80 to 90 100 pounds sometimes lighter right uh, which one would you think would eat less forage Oh boy, uh, yeah, that's that's a tough question. The smaller cow, right? You would think, yeah. right? Well, it turns out uh, she's kind of a big eater, huh. according to our data so far. Right. She's consuming 33 pounds on a daily basis. The 4002 cow, the smaller cow. Okay. Uh, this cow over here on the right is consuming 13.3 pounds less every day, and she's 100 pounds heavier. So uh, you can't tell by looking, and that's, and that's what makes it fascinating. And it looks like there's a lot of opportunity for progress. Well, and, and that's one question I was gonna ask was, what is the possibility of, of, of measuring full efficiency of the cow moving forward? I mean, that would be ideal. Mm -hmm. Hopefully what we can do is find cows that rank rank cows right. for feed intake, mm -hmm. all right? And at forage intake in particular, low quality forage intake where, or moderate quality forage intake, kind of where a commercial cow has to make her living, right? right? And so if we can rank cows in groups, in contemporary groups for that trait, we can make a lot of progress on, on that characteristics. And, and then of course, you know, there's always gonna be the other criteria you'd like to sort for, and fertility being mm -hmm. number one. Uh, but uh, there is, looks like there is a tremendous amount of opportunity to accomplish that. Okay, thank you very much, Dave Lawman, yes, beef cattle specialist here at Oklahoma State University.